Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the bumper creation from A surface to close volume. So this is studio surface which was given from studio team. Actually I have taken this CAD from the grab CAD. So I am going to create a new part naming it as a bumper thickening. We have created the new part. I'm going to create the geometrical set for A surface, B surface, and the closing surface. In A surface, I'm going to create one input surface is the studio surface input <coughs> so I have created one design geometrical set Inside that, I am going to keep all these A, B, C surfaces. So, it is easy to understand the tree structure. In this video, I will show how to create the surface from A to B. In the next part, we will see the closing surface. So this bumper creation contains totally four parts. So this file is like we have two different parts, one is grill and one is bumper. The surface input mostly will be like this. All together they will give. So it is our duty to separate the parts according to our requirement. With bumper and grill, it is not possible to manufacture, so I am going to segregate the parts. I am creating one more geometrical set naming as a surface input. I have pulled the studio surface into this part. So if you see the grill also joined with this bumper surface. <coughs> so I am going to create the part without the grill. So grill is a separate part. I am going to create it separately. just extracting the bumper surface alone to remove the grill area This bumper is for McLaren.
so those grill parts are already separated so i am creating one single join to have this bumper part alone so my i am going to create this bumper part alone so for this grill attachment in upcoming videos we will see how we are co planning to attach the grill so whenever you are creating the surface uh, or you are working on the surface just try to create a join after the to the major operation so that if you want to replace any surface in between it will be helpful if you have separate join so mostly whenever i work if i feel that is a major surface i will do one join operation so that if anything required i will replace it so this is symmetry part so just i am splitting by using the exit plane so that if i create only one side i can symmetry the part whenever you are going to design a part you have to think in this way so how simple you can create the part <coughs> just i'm checking the quality of the surface i think we can create a b surface without any issue just offsetting this b surface a surface so i'm going to consider this bumper thickness as 2.5 mm adjusting planning to extend the edges by 2 mm anyhow you are going to remove the material according to your environmental clearance so that if you increase also you can remove it later <coughs> so you should not change the a surface but if you want to maintain any clearance in that scenario you need to go for the environmental surfaces so just i am creating extra plate to 2 mm for the safer zone <coughs> if you see all the edges are extended to 2 mm Extrapolation is done with the curvature mode. I'm just extracting the fog lamp area also by two mm. Use boundary to create the extrapolate instead of selecting the edges. So I have created my a surface final. So just I am renaming it final a surface. So next I am going to create the b surface. As I told already, I am going to have the 2.5 mm thickness for this bumper. I am offsetting the A surface with 2.5 mm 
I'm just cross checking if I can able to see any issues or not. So once it is offset, wherever it is possible, it is showing. Wherever it is having issue, it will highlight. Just I'm changing the color to see the visibility. So here we have issue. So this one we need to work locally. Bumper is the external trim part, so it has some safety features as well as safety regulations. In upcoming videos, we will see the safety regulations for this bumper. No. 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 Please subscribe to this channel no. so that it will be helpful for me to create more videos so just I am trying to create one extract using that surface and offsetting by 2.5 mm and just checking whether it is coming properly or not if it is not coming properly we need to work on it so this surface is not properly interfering with the existing surface so just I am planning to create the new patch in this area Just I am using the connect curve to create the profile on this edge and we need to cross check the profile which we have already have the offset surface. it is it is slightly it is having mismatch but uh, that is not an issue anyhow it is a B surface it will come inside the part so that we can it is a manageable so just I am giving the fill option to create this surface this surface is matching now without any issue and just I am going to join this offset and fill for my B surface as I told earlier, whenever you are having the major surface change, just go for one join so that it will be helpful for you in later stage. If you want to change any surface or replace any surface in between, you need to do any operation, you can go for the join one or two times so that it will be, it won't affect your tree. So if you follow these tips, your part will be clean and clear and easily editable. So, B surface is ready. Just I am changing the color between A and 
be for better understanding so all the surfaces are offsetted to 2.5 mm so next we are going to see how we are closing this volume please watch next part for how we are closing this volume thanks for watching this video please subscribe